38 years ago, there was an Education Act um, that uh, said everyone had to go to school, and they had to go to school between set times, and they had to learn certain subjects, and so on. But before that, people still went to school, but you didn't have to go to school. Um, and Scotland has a very, very long tradition of children going to school. In fact, if you were to look at the whole of Europe, you would find nobody else has such a long tradition of schools as we have in Scotland. We, yeah. yes, we're an educated, yes, and it actually had very significant uh, implications on what happened in the 19th century in particular. Um, and the reason we have schools from way, way back was because there was a huge and very important event happened in Scotland and throughout Europe in the 1500s. So we're in the 2000s now, so how many years ago roughly we're talking about? 1500? We're in the 20 hundreds now. Five years. Five hundred years, yeah. Uh -huh. um, there was what was called an event in European history called the Reformation. And up until the Reformation, everyone in Europe, like it or not, were Roman Catholics. They followed the Roman Catholic faith. So what you can see in here is all different layers which relate to different phases of the school. Um, now the room you're in here, up at this end, had a, the latest phase, so the most recent before the building went out of use, is this here. Does anyone know what that, that surface is made out of? Clay! Clay! Hey, hey. So you put the clay down, <laughs> and it's stamped on and, and flattened, and it becomes really hard, it's almost like concrete, and it's got bits of stone in it as well, which will probably help to firm it up. So you've got a floor level up here, and a fireplace that goes with it. Now this fireplace had another phase as well, which was on top, and uh, something you find with old buildings quite a lot is that people will reuse features. So they've, they've, they've seen the fireplace but wanted to change it, and what they've done is, just up in the windowsill behind you, you'll see there's a big uh, metal plate. So I'm going to hold it up, it'll be easier. It doesn't fall apart. <laughs> big cast iron plate. And that would have been, that was set in just like that in the fireplace. So basically they'd modified the building. Um, but they'd done more serious modifications before that. And you can see, if you look in the side of this trench, all these stones. Mm. Now what they've done is laid a lot of stones on which they laid this later floor. So you've got a floor, then a pile of stones, and then another floor beneath it. Now, we're not entirely sure why they've raised the level, but it may, there may be a few different reasons. Um, one of them might be, you know, to stabilise the building a bit more. One of them might be um, purely because it was damp and, and, and they decided to raise the level just to try and get the floor out, up out of the damp. Um, so you've got clay floor, dump of stuff, another clay floor, and then immediately below this clay floor, there's another clay floor. So what we are picking up is just traces of people renovating and spending a wee bit of money on the school over the years. And uh, the history sh also shows us that, you know, at various stages, bits of money were spent on the school. And we're just picking up the, the traces of that and what we're digging. Now, it looks to me <coughs> like we're on natural down at the bottom there. This, this yellowy clay right down at the bottom of this trench is natural. Um, and you can see there's more stones piled on top of that. Um, we didn't have the stones at the far end there. Um, and I think what's happened is the, the natural ground surface on which they built the building has sloped downwards. So what they had to do is dump a lot of stuff in just to raise up this end and then put the floor right across the top of it. Um, <coughs> you heard about the fact that there was some rooms in the building as well. Um, now, for there to be rooms in the building, there has to be a, a wall somewhere. We haven't really got any direct evidence of a wall. The one thing we did have was, can you see this yellow stripe along the top there? Uh -huh. Well, on, on the other side, that stops about here. And what that is, that's the end of the floor. And then the, the floor just stops. So what we think's happened is there's been a, a wall here, maybe made out of timber, 
which has later been removed and you end up with a shadow of where it was so you, we, 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 we think that's where the, where the wall was so there have been at least two rooms one in here with a clay floor um, and in this side we think there's been a timber floor and the other thing we've had in this side is plaster This is what we mean by plaster, it's the stuff that was actually on the wall, it's the wall plaster um, and that one we actually began to pick up a lot. If you look very closely, you can that one. I, I cleaned that one, just washed the dirt off. But on this one, you can still see the grey paint. See, there's that slight grey. There was better examples we actually did find. So the, the room was painted grey. So that's wall plaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Into the fireplace. You had quite a different fireplace at this end of the building, but um, it may have been that there was a wee stove in there or something, maybe a, a metal box, maybe not dissimilar to the, the one we found at the other end, but they've really built it into this nice little uh, fireplace in here. So basically what you've got is a, a room at this end with a timber floor, plaster walls and ceiling, nice little fireplace, and then at the other end you've got a small room with clay floor, sort of pretty rough looking fireplace, and yeah. maybe something in the walls, maybe not. Um, it, de it definitely wasn't plastered. But in the 1500s, a lot of people decided that really this Roman Catholic Church thing wasn't a very good idea, and this idea of the Pope, and this wasn't the true religion that Jesus had preached, and that it was all wrong. And there was a guy in Germany called Martin Luther, who came up with an entirely different idea. Not an entirely different idea, but what he claimed was a more biblically based approach to religion, and it had nothing to do with the Pope. And it caused a revolution throughout Europe as the Roman Catholic Church was overthrown. And in Scotland, that revolution happened in 1560. And we had a chappie called John Knox. K-N-O-X. Nothing to do with knock, 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 knock. With John Knox. And John Knox said that every parish in Scotland should have a school. What do you think he wanted everybody to be able to do? Think about it. He's a minister. At that point, read. Ha, read. He wanted everyone yes. to read. And what do you think he wanted them to read? The Bible. Yes, he wanted them to be able to read the Bible for themselves. Because up to that point, when the Bible was read in church, it wasn't read in Scots as people in Scotland spoke in those days. It was read in another language. It was read in... No. Piece of port. Latin. It was read. In, it was. It was read in Latin. So, do you think people could understand what the Bible was saying? No. So the only person in the church who knew what the Bible was saying was the priest. And it was the priest who then would speak about the Bible passage in Scot. Yes. Yes. It was all to power, you see. The big power of the church. The church was extremely rich as well. And it kept the people down. But we've got heaps of and the idea was to give people freedom and to learn how to read. So John Knox said, every parish in Scotland should have a school. So, eventually, <laughs> get the population educated. It didn't happen very quickly, but even in the 1600s, there were a lot of people being educated in Scotland. And by the 1700s, there was even more. And by the end of the 1700s, there were 900 parish schools in Scotland. And we had the highest literacy and numeracy rates in the whole of Europe. And that's why so many Scots then went off. And, and, pioneered, the and world. pioneered the world. Let's have a look. That'd be so funny if we did. Very good. That was maybe like a boggy loch, actually. And the ditch that runs down here, you can see there's a bank beside the, the there's a burn runs in there. It's actually very deep. And we think the original burn would have been much wider and shallower and possibly came right up here. And this bank may have been put in to protect the bit of ground behind when it was in spate or something. But that's pure speculation. But a lot of archaeology is like this. The classroom there and right into this master's room. And that there might be a third room there at the back, which would have been his bedroom. So he would have had a sitting room and then a bedroom. That window at the back would be for the room at the back. <laughs>